bitch Shout out nigga big on me bitch Came on hours On the drug Downtown We K.O. Better hit the big on me bitch Hello, gang! If you don't know, now you know. It's your girl, Funny Aunt Xavier. And it's Follow me on the gram! You always doing that! <laughs> they, gonna, they gonna know that at the word! I'm trying to tell them to follow me on the gram so they can actually follow me on the gram. They know to follow you on the gram, it's no, right there! No, they don't know. I ain't gonna lie, it's your boy Big Homie Block. Follow me on the gram! I can't say that. But follow anyway. But well, anyway, today, y'all see us together. Today, we here to let y'all know something. We got a hundred K! A hundred K scrapbook. <laughs> anyway, y'all yeah. know what he y'all, but thank y'all for the hundred K. We are so excited. Woo! Hey, y'all, man, look. I ain't gonna lie. Look, this is why I'm more excited about the hundred K. We get a plaque. After all this hard work, we get an award. Hello. Yeah, I'm kind of more excited of it because about it because um, like it, it's just like it's just like I can't say the words, but it's just like I don't know we haven't none 50, like zero viewer to ten to fifty to a hundred to five hundred views to one k and up 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 up. So man, man I, I I look beyond that too. Like when you said that. Remember when we used to like see how many views we get in a day? Yeah. Now it's like we don't know when what we gonna get. Yeah, and, and, how it's, and gonna it's be. just crazy because y'all know how um, other celebrities or other people who successful I always say. I used to I used to be like, nah, it'll never happen when like for example, Jay Z say like, keep going, it'll happen for you, keep going. Yeah. But you know sometimes we get discouraged like, nah, it ain't gonna happen for me. But now I'm looking at like. We here. Yeah. So, so I'm so thinking about on. in the future when we at 500k or a million, we're gonna be thinking about this moment like, damn, we here now. Yeah, so for you real. Always elevate. Just keep going at what you want to do and stuff. Because who I wouldn't know. Would be honest. Would you know you'll be here? Nah, but Me either. um, like what you what you mean about that? Because like I never gave up. First of all, yeah. So the goal was to get. At least to this milestone, you but know what I'm you, saying? But I'm saying like you never know where you will be. Like you feel me? I mean, you know where you want to be, but you don't know where you would be. I mean, like me leaving my job back when I was my last job, 2018, 2019, whenever I left it, mm -hmm. I didn't know I was gonna be able to make my income just strictly on video. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm more shocked on like the growth. You too, man. Like yeah. I remember when you. Your last job, you hear me? Yeah, Your yeah. last job. And like, that's what I'm saying. I was summing it all up. That's what I'm saying. Like, who would know that we'll be doing this full time? But like I was saying, I just want to thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for supporting us. And not only, I know y'all see how genuine we is. Not only do we do this because it's our job, but if we was getting paid, I think we'll be still doing this. We was doing this when we wasn't getting paid. This is what we like to yeah. do. When we started doing this, we didn't know nothing about, like, be honest, we didn't know nothing about Nothing you know, like like we could get money. Yeah. yeah, we did not know nothing that we were just doing because this what this what we liked to do. Yeah, we like to act stupid for no reason. Yeah, because if y'all look at our old content, we was wild. Like yeah, we, we did doing, what we wanted to do. We was doing crazy skits. Like if you know us from this, how you drop a bat out, uh -huh. like all that. Like if you know us from that, like from our skits, we we that's what we like to do. We didn't know we would took was gonna benefit off a lot of stuff, but but we saw a lot of things where we knew we had to change. Yeah. So it was like more about like when we started making an income, it was more about how we gonna transition because yeah. we saw a lot of stuff where it was like. This ain't good for community guidelines. When they kept blocking us. Yeah, that's this. not. They getting strict on a lot of stuff. So it was. They was getting a script on a lot of stuff back in the day. Yeah. That's why we changed it up a no, lot. Nowadays, it's our kids now. Yeah, yeah, but I ain't mad at that. I love the kids. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I love the kids. Love us too. You hear me? So Respect. we gotta keep it. Keep our work clean. Yeah. So, so don't don't. Y'all see some stuff changing. They getting strict and it's like kids on here now. So we gotta keep a lot of stuff clean. We gotta watch what we say and do. You know, mm -hmm. everybody's sensitive now. So 
Yeah, we just gotta. Yeah, but y'all know one thing about us. We we definitely a relationship, and we definitely got comedy in our relationship. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, thank y'all for the hundred k. We oh. gonna keep going. Millionaires. We ain't going five hundred k. Not five hundred k. Not five hundred k. We ain't talking five hundred k no more. We talking a meal. We talking a meal. At where, where do you want to see this meal? Wait, uh, next year, man. two years. <laughs> oh man, hey man, look. We grateful for what we got now, yeah, so I mean, like, I, like, I mean, over grateful. Like I said, sky's the limit. Like I said, I ain't know. I know this what I know what I want to be, but you know, you don't know when you will end up. So I'm just blessed and happy that I can. It's, y'all, I, and we see y'all too. I was saying mm-hmm. y'all make us laugh. You got me through this. You got me through that. We see that, and that's Man. why we do it. We don't also only do it for y'all. We go through stuff too, and that's that's get us past our day life. <laughs> for real, cause like I, I could be mad at her. A video would calm me down, like. That's crazy. It's it's better than drugs. Like yeah. doing this, to it's, be honest. It's real. It's like, real, and we get it. And we, like we said, we want to get into this Q and A, but we want to say again, thank y'all for the hundred K. We are gonna keep elevating, keep going up. Yeah, keep, like like keep we, into, keep entertaining y'all and, and being, you know, us. Like we ain't with all that. He finna be thirty. <laughs> you finna be thirty two. I'm only twenty six though. You Get out the screen, bitch. That's dirty. You can be dirty in two years. Hey, man. Hey. And shout out to all the people that are also doing it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, keep going. People like, always tell yeah. me, like, like y'all don't, y'all don't, another, I don't want to, ooh. I don't no, wanna, come on, come on. They got to hear this. Yeah, I don't want to over drag it because we got a video to do. But people always worry me, like, Xavier, what do y'all do? How do y'all get so many viewers? How Y'all got to understand. People, and if y'all asking me this, I know what y'all asking bigger celebrities and bigger YouTubes. Like, mm-hmm. stop asking it. We never ask nothing. Y'all don't see us with no a huge, come on, D. Y'all don't see us with no huge feature. You know why? Because um, people people started from the bottom like us. Yeah. So, so I, I get it. Y'all want to know, but it ain't no, it ain't no, it ain't no, nothing no blueprint. Really, it ain't it nothing. Ain't. It just hard work, consistency, and dedication. And you got to be pure. You can't just be doing this for the money. Another, you have to genuinely do it because your viewers will know. Yeah, like because. Like they corny. Like we can tell they doing it for the money. Mm-hmm. Not that like they will know. Like be your, be genuine. If this ain't what you want to do, don't get in it for the money because you will never, it'll never work for you. And like she said, like a lot of people. What you do. A lot of people are asked that question, like, what should I do to get more views? Be yourself. That's the biggest thing. Like, if you could be yourself, you'll be surprised how far you will get. Sometimes your personality run the whole thing. Like my personality stands out because I'm a goofy. Like, um, this is me for real. Like, no exaggeration. This is yeah. Xavier for real. No <laughs> exaggeration. <laughs> And this is in there My for real. Myself. And you know, like, we ain't the smartest people, we ain't the dumbest either. But we know how to entertain. Believe that. But without without all that talking, we love y'all. Thanks for the case. Thank y'all, and let's but, get right into the video. Yeah, man, we gotta take a brief and commission for that. <laughs> Girl, what are you doing? Green, move. <laughs> See y'all, Z. Y'all might just hear in the background being loud. You know, we're going to do a video. So, we're doing a Q&A today. For our 100K subscribers. Yes, sir. So, we asking so the questions. So, like an update. Yeah, so we asking the questions that people asked us. And we're going to answer them on here. Yeah, I got some questions from my Instagram and Facebook. He got questions from YouTube. YouTube. Mm-hmm. So, all my YouTube supporters, we love y'all. All mm-hmm. my Instagram supporters, follow me on the ground. And all our Facebook supporters, we love y'all too. We see y'all. We see you. TikTok too on my soul. Elizabeth Wilson said, who apologized first after an argument? Who apologized first after an argument? Uh-huh. You want me to answer or you answer? Um, as a man, I apologize first. You don't apologize. It go both ways. Now, I feel like when it, when it, it comes down to fe- with female, you gotta have a you gotta have a good reason for them to apologize. Big no cap. Like, if I ain't got no good reason for you to apologize, you not apologize. And, and it'd be late as hell. Like, you'll be like, you right, you right. Then you'll be like, you'll still try to get your point across. Like, Lord, no. Like, at the end of the day, I'm right. Just admit it. But, but I'll be the first one to say sorry. I ain't gonna lie. Or apologize about this. Because who'll be the first one who I would start? You. I don't, as a guy, I don't start arguments. As a typical guy, but like you I bet. Two star argument. How? Like just to get something right there, or missing something? Like what? What? Why? Uh, 
Okay, whatever. You can tell me, you okay, yeah, yeah, you got that. Have y'all ever cheated on each other recently? Ask Tylasia underscore 04 on Instagram. Oh, yeah, you, you reply first. Uh, yeah, but I apologize for it because it was a mistake. When you do that? I'm just like, <laughs> now, I haven't cheated on him recently. Nah, I ain't cheated on her either. Nah, but I ain't cheated on her either, though, on my soul. So, you know what I'm saying? We good over here for the moment. Yeah. We trying to keep it in paradise, I guess. Yeah. I mean, the only time somebody would step out if they ain't please with something. I don't know. I can't speak for everybody, and I don't want to speak for everybody. But I, I feel like people cheat if, if, if it get boring or... I don't know. I can't speak for you. Never know what happened. I mean, I could say it get boring if you could always tell somebody I want to do something new. Yeah. I'm like um, sometimes they just be wanting to find something new. Probably yeah. You gotta think about it like. Yeah, I know. Can't nobody never give you no good reasons for cheating. So yeah, next question. yeah, for real. But we have it. Nah, we, we know good. Of. Somebody said, "I right, chill, Clinton," on YouTube. Then he said, this, "This this question for blocks." How does it feel to be in an abusive relationship? <laughs> First of all. He, 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 he was specific too. They didn't say Xavier. They said blocks. How does it feel to be in an abusive relationship? First of all, you're not in an abusive relationship. No, I'm not. Like, to be honest, y'all, ain't no, ain't no cuffs in this. I'm not in an abusive relationship. I will be her ass in reality. I doubt it. But, I, you know, being a good son I am, I'm not. It, it just, you know, y'all see it. She got a aggressive side, but she handled it on my soul. I'm used to it. Like, my mama crazy. <laughs> like, I, I, it's like, I don't, she's like my, she, she act like my OG. You like my OG or don't something? Don't compare me to her. And she would beat your head too. <laughs> no, but it's crazy. Like, I don't know. She would beat your head too. <laughs> no, but it's crazy because, like, they both areas too. That's crazy. Birthday right there, they act just alike. And if y'all see abuser, if y'all see y'all spouse doing weird stuff like taking pictures of their private part, they deserve to get slapped. I want to show the world. Nah, I'm just playing with you, man. But hey, I ain't in an abusive relationship, guys. Next question is how long y'all been together? We've what? been together for October 17th will make nine years. Yeah. As of now, we've been together eight years. Yeah. October 17th of 2021 will make nine years. Woo! long time. Somebody asked me on here, can y'all share y'all love story? Yeah. Um, I, I knew she was the one when she always like made sure I was good. Like at the end of the day, ain't nobody really had my back like she do. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't never met a female that just strictly worried about me. Like she was getting to it with her mama just to make sure I was good and stuff. You feel what I'm saying? And you know, I really like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's a different type of woman. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, like, let me correct you. I wasn't going against my family for my man. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Facts. I, okay, I'll give you that. Right is right and wrong is wrong. But by, by, by me seeing that, you know, that showed me like, she got my heart just like she got, I got her heart. You know what I'm saying? So, I love you for that. No. Just, just, just for putting me in front of a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I knew he was the one when, kind of the same. Like, I knew he was the one when you always put me first. So, I believe in this thing, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Sacrifice. He sacrificed a lot for me and my child. But even before Z, I knew he was the one because you sacrificed a lot for me. Like, if we only had one cookie or one cake or something. Either we was gonna split it or he was gonna let me have it. Like, y'all get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you sacrificed. It was me and bro who just stole both of us like, and that cake. When you, when you had it and I didn't, you made sure I was good. Like, you took care of me, you know, make sure I ate. Like, same thing that you were saying. But my, like, like they said, I knew he was the one because he sacrificed a lot and he still do. He sacrificed everything for us. Like, it's all, it ain't no I and we with him. It's always we, us, Y'all, not no never me, you, I. They said this not a question. Just wanted to say you guys are super talented and love Black seventy seven. Said that on Instagram. Thank you. Um, Respect. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. Love you for keeping it real.
Yeah, we're going to keep it real with y'all. Go ahead. You guys another question. Somebody said, are you guys planning the wedding? Also, I wanted to tell Zay that you're a month and boss of queen. Period. <laughs> she a queen, but she ain't no boss. I'm the boss. Maya underscore Amore underscore, if I said it right, was it Mia underscore Amore underscore on Instagram? I want to say thank you. Appreciate that. Same for you, sis. I'm wishing blessings on you too, so you could be a boss. You already a queen. Period. And yes, we are planning a wedding. Yeah, we planning. We are planning the wedding. Uh, we got a date. Mm -hmm. We trying to decide colors. Uh, I actually go see a venue Friday when I go to Chicago. So I'm going to vlog that. And then y'all just stay posted. But just know we got a date already. And we hopefully we set on that. But I'm planning on doing, I'm trying to get like two, two couple fans. To come and to attend the wedding. So be looking out for that tour contest. For two couples to come yep. and support us. I mean, how you feel about that? I'm down. You down with that? I invite like four of you guys to come on to the wedding. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Strut down the aisle. Yeah. yeah. And your boy, get down on me. Get down on so me. Make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Like he said, we got some stuff coming soon. So have four people fly out, or if you already in Chicago, to come, you know, see us do the thing. Uh huh. On my soul. Hello. Hey, yeah, we doing this in Chicago, by the way. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So, next question. CC Boss sent this on YouTube. She asked, Are you going to do any collabs with other YouTubers? Hmm. Yeah, y'all. No lie. Yeah, I I want to do collab. What about you? Yeah, I'm willing to do them. Like, uh, it ain't no just I'm just like now nah, I'm gonna collab. Yeah, I'm willing to do. It. If they come, I'm will, I'm down. I'm willing to do them. But, and if it ever come down to it, maybe a challenge or some fun. Uh, anybody that you particularly want to work with, like, okay, this is the person I really want to work with. <laughs> I gotta say, they gotta know. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I want to work with India Royal. Oh, okay. You want to work with um, India? Yeah, I want to work with India. I want to work with uh, Neek. Um, it's crazy because you already like close to India, though. Like, yeah. well, close to like a follow at least. Yeah, I want to work with um, yeah, India, Neek, uh, Crystal. Crystal, cool. I don't know what I'm saying. I yeah. see, I see, she mess with you too. You know what I'm saying? Crystal and uh. To be honest, you just named all the people that pretty much follow you already, though. Yeah, but yeah, that was some few, but I love to work with everybody. Like, those just some few names I threw out there. But I got a question, though. I got a question, though. Why you just want to inbox them, man? They got already your friend. Okay, how about we just move on? I think I know mine. Oh, uh, who you want to ask? I ain't got ask that. You personally asked me that. Yeah, I asked you that because that I wanted to know. I'm going to ask you that. What are you talking about? Let's move on. Next. Hey, do y'all plan on moving to Texas or staying in Atlanta? Honestly, we don't know. I don't think we're going to Texas. <laughs> not, I not. I don't think we're going to Texas. Nah, I don't think we're going to Texas. I don't think Texas is our type, type of vibe. Of like, um, I love to party and stuff sometimes. Don't get me wrong, I ain't been really out, out since I've been in Atlanta, but I've been loving Atlanta. So it's like. Yeah. I kind of like Atlanta because it's still more. Here, so we gotta, you know, still get the bad, bad, bad. Yeah, I feel like Even it's though a, we did a lot this year. Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie. Um, Atlanta got a lot of black culture, you know what I'm saying? I so I love the blackness of it. That goes easy, y'all. <laughs> you better Hello. say that loud. But uh, about Texas, Money. no for right now. Okay, so next question. Somebody said, y'all want more kids. On Instagram. Not more kids, but a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, if y'all want to know the real tea, we kind of working on the baby right now. I mean, I, they know already. How many times you going to see it? You said like three videos. No, I didn't. They know already we, we working on it. Ain't nothing to work on. All you got to do, all I got to do is see. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing to work on. Um, I think I'm Like easy. I said, um... <laughs> To answer the question, somebody asked me before I got really interrupted. Yes, we want a, another baby. And yes, we're working on a baby right now. So y'all see your girl pop up. Just no blocks, man. 
Yeah. The Visha Smith asked us, what made us start wanting to do YouTube? Is YouTube the only job we do right now? Yeah, I mean, we got multiple platforms, but yeah. I mean, if you consider- We work for, or well, work with, I don't know which one how it go, but we work with- The internet. The internet, like, <laughs> we work with so many platforms. Yeah. For example, TikTok, YouTube, mm -hmm. Google, Facebook. Anything that cut that check, we work for them. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I'm with Bite. I'm an influencer for Bite, so like we even got sponsorships where well, we getting some. Yeah, so if y'all want to get y'all teeth straight, y'all know Big Homie Block came a long way with the teeth. So. For real. I'm, I'm surprised you stayed with me through that. It, you know what I'm saying? It really worked, y'all, because smile. Smile for me, Dad. Hey, y'all, no, no lie. If y'all look at my our first video, Y'all to see like they know that motherfucker was jacked up. That that boy was different. Yeah. He had the Vincent last from Bite, and they did him justice. And he got a little deal with them, y'all. So yeah. So y'all go put his code in. It's right in the bio. So it's like go and ahead, check it out. You know what I'm saying? Get y'all teeth right. Yeah. Yep. You trying it out? I try it out. But y'all, I like Xavier T. Me too. But I still try it out to get your coins. Hello. Why does Xavier always dress half naked? Oh. Why? Do I? Why? <laughs> um. I feel like it's a girl thing. I mean, you you heard what little baby say? I don't care with my whole world as long as I'm digging it down. Yeah. Come on, little baby. Hold up. You my hoe. Boy. Anyway, y'all. Um. <laughs> to answer that question. I don't know. I feel like I have a nice body and I'm slim and I don't know how I like to show it off. Like, I ain't the only woman in the world who dress half naked. It's just, I'm confident in myself um, and I like to show off. That's all I can say. Like, I don't know why I do it. That's just me. Everybody's them. Just like you like to wear clothes, I don't like to wear any. So, why do you like to wear clothes? That That's something you ask people? Yeah. They ask me why I don't like, why I dress half naked? Why do you fully dress? Shane Butler asks, if it's a really good opportunity, would y'all guys move back to Chicago? Yes. Yeah. I would. Yeah, what a good opportunity. Yeah, I would. I mean, to be honest, I love Chicago. Love my city. But I'm pretty much exhausted. I ain't gonna lie to you. I have. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't trying to move that. I ain't trying to move back. No time soon yeah, if it's not but, beneficial. But like, yeah, if it's not beneficial. But like you said, if it's a good opportunity and we have a, um, excuse me, if we have a nice place to stay, I'll definitely move back. What you mean? Like, a nice area and stuff like that. That's easy, man. No, I'm saying still with the nice opportunity stuff. It all got to come as a package. True, because like, if somebody want to do a TV show in Chicago, that's our opportunity right there. We gone on my soul. Okay, that's all I got because everybody just asks when the wedding, when y'all having more kids, when the wedding, when y'all having more kids, when the wedding, when y'all having more kids. The wedding is coming soon, y'all. So, do, are we giving them the wedding date today? Are we uh, giving them the wedding date? Because somebody asked me a question on here, on YouTube. They said, do y'all have a wedding date? Yeah, we do. We do got a wedding date. Yeah. So, the official date is October 16th. 2022, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a year from now, but. Yeah, so if y'all know, our anniversary is October 17th. Mm -hmm. Every year, cause we got together October 17th, 2012. I think that kind of figured that every year, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we want to close our anniversary. Our anniversary, we're not having it on the 17th of next year because it's a Monday. I really don't want to do it on a Monday. So I just did it on the 16th. Of 2022, so mm -hmm. it's close to it's still the same month, but like you said, October 16th, 2022, be expecting the biggest wedding out of Chicago. Big wedding, big lotto. <laughs> a question for Simeon. He said, Honestly, y'all are a beautiful couple. Do you think having to do cosmetic things to y'all bodies was necessary or was it just a big one? Mm. I guess that's towards me because he have not had any cosmetic surgery. I mean, unless you're talking about my teeth. That's the only thing. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, thank you for saying we're a beautiful couple. We really appreciate that. We thank really you. appreciate you for supporting. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was just a big one. Like I said before in my uh, vlog video on the other channel, which y'all should subscribe. To. Yeah, Hello Family <laughs> Vlogs, by the way. Hello Family Vlogs. Like I said on there, it's just my kids sucked me dry. Like before Z. Her kids. Before, before Z and before 
I had a child, I had some nice perky little things, right? And then just when I had Z, it just went so flat and I had the opportunity to, you know, now pick they, them up. Now they picked up and they beautiful and they. I kind of like the size though. I mean, it ain't it ain't like her old titties, of course. I kind of like these because they more like out. So I love them. <laughs> of course you love them. Yeah, because you know what I'm saying. I can suck on them more. <laughs> I hated them pancake. I, I can put them in my like this, y'all. Like 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 a so salad. You, so you hate the pancakes? Um, no, they weren't bad, but then hey, I love the new ones. <laughs> God, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Anyway, y'all. <laughs> but to me, y'all, like I said, um, it's something I want to do personally. It wasn't because I'm, I'm not, I don't like how I look or I'm insecure or anything like that. It has nothing to do with that. I, my stuff was just flat on flat. I was sucked out. Hit the re up. The colorful Geeko. How do y'all stay positive in a relationship? Anything y'all do that helps when you argue? See, that's a big relationship question right there. I feel like, um, I feel like how to stay positive, like through an argument and all that, just as a guy walk away, because we, we're going to keep arguing with them, and then, like I said, they is not going to give up. They don't want to be the one that's wrong. Female, they don't want to be wrong. So it's like, you might as well either walk away, or if you want to argue, you just keep arguing with her till you feel like you're right. Well, I feel like how I stay, you know, cool in an argument, or how we come back from an argument is, you got to, y'all got to understand, have understanding in your relationship. You got what? You got to have like understanding in your relationship. Like y'all argue about something big or y'all argue about something little. You still got to know at the end of the day. You this, gonna, this home. Right. Or this who you love. I got to communicate. We got to communicate. Talk it out. Go spend some days in the other room or at a friend house or something. But other than that, you good. But how big can a, a disagreement be? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you think people really... In a relationship for yeah, a lot cheating. of a lot of people no, it's a, it ain't even cheating because I feel I feel like people could come back from cheating. Me personally, I feel like people can't come back from cheating. They don't mean go cheat because I Corvette, Corvette. But <laughs> people, I feel like people can come back from cheating. It just probably be the communication and all that. That would really drag people apart. Like yeah, communication. Not talking. And expressing yourself and and giving each other tasks, talk about and all that. Now, I don't know, it's a lot. I don't know. I mean, that that's the best way to put it. I mean, you got to think about it. Like, if we don't talk, we will never know what the problem is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, by you not talking, just making the friction. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Making everybody separate. Step, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I think it's more about communication. And, communication. And, yeah, I agree with that one. Cause I said walk away. So. Listen, you know, don't bicker. Even though we do it sometimes, but we still yeah. Cause I feel like still, the females do it more. Yeah, so it's we, like we ain't gonna play the blame game. We just wanna say what goes on. Well, I, I'm blaming the females. <laughs> but like I said, you know, don't bicker too much. Try to understand. Try to listen. Let one person talk, then you talk. Y'all know how this goes. It ain't, it ain't rocket science. Just be a human being in your relationship. Don't try to be ruined up. Don't try to be. I'm trying to control you. You trying to control me. Like it didn't ever work like that. And you and you know if, if you and still, freedom plays a big part in a relationship to me. Like go out, so go out the girl sometimes. Go out the guy sometimes. Like it's 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 good. It's, you it's you should have called that freedom. Is it not freedom? But just tell it to yourself. Tell it to yourself. Yeah, like it's freedom, healthy you gotta, in like, a relationship. You in. Like like it's healthy. Some people yeah. locked in. I'm saying though, you just say like you need time to yourself. You need time to yourself. Cause freedom is you ain't you ain't locked you ain't in jail. <laughs> but yeah, y'all get what I'm saying. Yeah. But I had one more question. Somebody said, uh, I kept it in the top of this nugget. Somebody said, How could we get like you in blocks? Like we said at the beginning, go after for every go after everything you want. Stay consistent. Do it. That's the only thing I can tell you is do it. Mm-hmm. And don't get like us, get better than us. You know what I'm saying? It's always a step up, you hear me? I ain't mad. I mean, I might be a little jealous sometimes, but I ain't be mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they doing bad enough. But because, we see you. 
<laughs> yeah, because at the end of the day, you know, people like what they like. You know what I'm yeah. saying? People like our personality sometimes. He <laughs> probably like somebody else better. Exactly. I feel like we got a good personality. I feel like we should have been had a million followers, let alone 100K, but, you know what I'm saying? What's for you is what's for you. Yeah, and the, and the people that rock with us, rock with us. You know what I'm saying? And we have uh, the real supporters. Yeah, yeah, because besides that, I'm a wild boy, so I can say what I want. And if you don't like that, you ain't got to subscribe, of course. You know what I'm saying? What okay. about you? Okay, well, boy. What you, what you, what about you? What you mean, what about me? How you feel about that? Like, you know what I'm saying? My them half feel, just mm -hmm. keep, keep going. Yeah, like, keep going. We, 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 we doing us at the end of the day, so mm -hmm. it ain't no, people will never find no hate over here, no jealousy, no nothing, because we know how to do us. And like I said, what's for us is for us. What's for you is for you. Yeah, and everybody ain't perfect. I mean, we ain't perfect. Don't get us wrong, but, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you believe in, go ahead and try it out. Sometimes you got to try it to know, what, to know like, it's for you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people do it for the money, like you said. So they be like, how much y'all make? How much y'all make? You're not talking about... How we made it. How we made it. You talking about like how, how much. much we made. Like, that's a different story. That was all the questions we had. Yeah. Most of y'all really want to know about the wedding, the baby, how to get this, how we got here, and yeah. stuff like that. So, we let y'all know. Thank y'all again for 100K subscribers. We're going to keep going up. Prank queen. Oh, pr prank king. Stop playing with prank, prank queen. Prank queen. for the keep um, <laughs> coming at you. And big homie block team block. We're going to keep going crazy. Y'all know David can't take the pranks. Boy. That why, that's why they say team blocks in the league because team Xavier can't take block pranks. I can take Xavier pranks. I'll be like a little hurt, but when I do mine, she be like, it be like a vessel coming out. A little <laughs> boy. She be blue on my soul. Oh, and we got some stuff coming up for y'all. Yeah, for like, sure. Uh, you know. Oh uh, yeah. And like, yeah, follow us on the gram. It's a must, y'all. Follow us on the gram because we got pictures and stuff dropping. We I'm got, gonna post them on YouTube. We, still. Yeah, we got stuff coming up, y'all. So stay, keep in touch, even for y'all. We got just know we got stuff coming up. Yeah, because like we got a hundred k now. So why not give? Why not give? We're going to do contests for y'all, too. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Giveaways. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And we got stuff coming up. We love y'all. Thank y'all for 100K. Again, I know I keep saying it, but it's thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. thank you. Uh-uh. We, we got 100K because of y'all. Yeah, exactly. So keep subscribing. Keep telling people about our channel. Keep so in that bell, too. Keep turning on that bell so y'all know when your girl is so... Oh, when y'all know a bad... Shut your mouth. Bruh. <laughs> it's on your screen. <laughs> It's your screen. So, until the next video, Z, tell her we out. Come here. Come on, tell T. Hello again, we out. <laughs> tell him Z. Tell him see you later. Hello, gang. <laughs> y'all, y'all remember our first? Um, y'all remember when we was first telling y'all about? And you're a real supporter. Comment down below when we first told y'all about how we got together. And Z was a baby. <laughs> She was so little walking behind a screen, remember? Yeah, she was young. Now she, just, she just couldn't even talk really, bruh. Yeah. Comment down below when y'all remember Z was a youngin. Now look at us. Stand up, Z. Look at us and look where we started from, bruh. Remember, remember the first video, if y'all look all the way down, first video is when Z went to Wonderland, what was it? The uh, Snowland? Mm -hmm. And that was the first video, and Zendaya was so young. She was so little. Now she's all big and stuff. We got a hundred k subscribers now. We <laughs> came from the bottom, girl. We <laughs> living your auntie out around that time. Tell them bye, hello gang. See you later, hello gang. Tell them bye bye. <laughs> to the next video. To the next prank. What you talking about? It's war. It's war, girl. What you doing? Don't, don't turn it off. Don't turn it off. See. No, no. Hey, man. Come here, girl. Now I'm gonna be her to it. Uh. Hello, it's your boy Big Homie Blocks doing a review on the Bio Visit line. First thing first, they gotta see your teeth. So they're gonna set a molded kit to begin the process before you get your visit line. Once you're done molding, all you gotta do is ship it back next. It's free of charge, they will have a tag up in the box. After they receive the molded packet, they will send you a 3D video of how your teeth will look after using buy a visit line. And after that, it's your decision if you wanna buy it or not. Once making a purchase, it might take a couple weeks to come, but I guarantee it's worth the wait. Buy will send you a box with everything you need up inside. What to expect up in the box is some Invisalign, 
the hyperbite. The hyperbite is a vibration on your teeth, which is going to straighten out a little quicker with the lines. And a bright bite, which is a whitener and a breath refreshener. So first thing first, you got to put them on. I guarantee when you first put them on, it's like a pair of new shoes. It's going to fit just right. But I guarantee by the end of the day, your teeth going to be on fire. After a couple days, it will get better. But just be expecting the pain the first day. Doing by the Visalign was the best decision I ever made. I got good teeth, I got my teeth, I ain't got no veneers, and I love my results. Just look at my teeth before I use the Visalign's. Now look at me six weeks later. My teeth looking good. I was satisfied with just that, cause I saw improvement that I never seen before. And I'm so happy that I kept going and didn't get discouraged by the pain or get discouraged by what the next week will bring with the pain. <laughs> 15 weeks later, look at me. I did the whole tray and look at my teeth now, you guys. Almost straight, you hear me? I can't complain no more, man. It's, it's no more spaces in my teeth. Like, I can't complain. I feel like my words coming out more. I feel like everything coming out more, you know what I'm saying? I'm recommending y'all to go get some of the bites. I got a link below that will give you a discount on the molding part. So getting you started will only be $20. Try it out. And these are my teeth now. Hello. Man, I got a beautiful smile now thanks to Bite. Look, man, y'all make sure y'all hit that link below, you hear me? On my soul, I got a link below. Go on here, hit that link, and you're going to get a discount.